Let's build an ecosystem for my favorite species of sea slug. These critters are in the Tritonidae family, and I love their lacy pattern and bright colors. Their colors can even change based on their diet. I'm also adding some leftover macroalgae to provide some oxygen and ambience, along with a little gorilla crab to rule the land. The first step was filling up the jar with sand and rocks and crud, before filling it up with some yummy salty water. After the sand settled, it was time to add the macroalgae. I'm adding some kato for some surface area, and an assortment of other species. I forgot what they are. Eh, they're neat, I guess. After the macroalgae was added, it was time to add the sea slugs. They're already trying to freak. Disgusting. Look at them just floating around. After the sea slugs got comfortable, it was time to add the little gorilla crab. Look at his little legs going. I of course need to add Naptasia before adding copepods and a little mycid shrimp to bolster the cleanup crew and diversity. After all the critters were added, I added some yummy coral for the sea slugs to eat and let the jar sit overnight. The sea slugs have found their food and are starting to consume. For the first week or two, I'll do daily water changes while the jar settles. But the goal is to have a thriving ecosystem without any upkeep. I'm excited to see how this ecosystem grows and changes alongside the critters that inhabit it. Which critters will thrive and how will this jar look in 100 days? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Follow for more updates.